Kodiak Island Alutik, Kikertak, Russian, Kodak is a large island on the south coast of the U.S. state of Alaska, separated from the Alaska mainland by the Shelikov Strait. The largest island in the Kodiak archipelago, Kodiak Island is the second largest island in the United States and the 80th largest island in the world, with an area of 9,311.24 square kilometers 3,595.09 square miles, slightly larger than Cyprus. It is 160 kilometers, 99 miles long and in width ranges from 16 to 97 kilometers, 10 to 60 miles. Kodiak Island is the namesake for Kodiak Seamount, which lies off the coast at the Aleutian Trench. The largest community on the island is the city of Kodiak, Alaska. Kodiak Island is mountainous and heavily forested in the north and east, but fairly treeless in the south. The island has many deep ice-free bays that provide sheltered anchorages for boats. The southwestern two-thirds of the island, like much of the Kodiak archipelago, is part of Kodiak National Wildlife Refuge. Kodiak Island is part of the Kodiak Island Borough and Kodiak Archipelago of Alaska. The town of Kodiak is one of seven communities on Kodiak Island and is the island's main city. All commercial transportation between the island and the outside world goes through this city either via ferryboat or airline. Other settlements include the villages of Akiak, Old Harbor, Karlik, Larson Bay, Port Lyons, and an unorganized community near Cape Chiniak. The village of Uzinki on nearby Spruce Island is also part of the island community. Kodiak is also home to the largest U.S. Coast Guard base, which includes Coast Guard Base Kodiak, Coast Guard Air Station Kodiak, Communications Station Kodiak, and Aids to Navigation Station Kodiak. The island is also home to the Pacific Spaceport Complex. The Kodiak bear and the king crab are native to the island. The fishing industry is the most important economic activity on the island. Fisheries include Pacific salmon, Pacific halibut, and crab. The Karlik River is famous for its salmon run. Logging, ranching, numerous canneries, and some copper mining are also prevalent. An antenna farm at the summit of Pillar Mountain above the city of Kodiak provides primary communications to and from the island. History Kodiak is the ancestral land of the Sugpayak, an Aleutic nation of Alaska natives. The original inhabitants subsisted by hunting, fishing, farming, and gathering. Kodiak Island was explored in 1763 by Russian fur trader Stefan Glotov. The first outsiders to settle on the island were Russian explorers under Grigory Shelikov, a fur trader, who founded a Russian settlement on Kodiak Island at Three Saints Bay in 1784. The present day village of Old Harbor developed near there. In 1792, the settlement was moved to the site of present day Kodiak and became the center of Russian fur trading with the Alaska natives. In 1793, Shelikov, with the help of the Governor-General of Irkutsk, was given 20 craftsmen and 10 families of farmers with the obligation of paying government taxes for them, for promoting successful development of Russia-America settlements and the establishment of shipyards and factories. The settlers provided to Shelikov were not serfs in the full sense of the word. It was not possible to sell, mortgage, or give away the settlers, they were owned by the company for as long as the shelikov golikov company existed. In 1784, Shelikov, along with 130 Russian fur traders massacred see Awa'uk massacre several hundred Kikurtarmiat Sugpiat, Sugpayak people of Kikurtak, Kodiak, tribe of Alutik men, women and children at Refuge Rock, a tiny stack island off the eastern coast of Sitkaladak Island. In Alutik, this sacred place is now known as Awa'uk, to become numb. The Aleutik were conscripted by the Russian occupants for the purpose of hunting, gathering, and processing food and furs. Native labor was commandeered through hostage-taking, physical threat, and punishment. The Aleutik men were forced to obtain quotas of otter pelts and bird skins which were then stitched into waterproof parkas by the Aleutik women. The waterproof garments, made by the Aleutik women, were given to the Aleutik men as payment for the furs brought to the Russian fur traders. The Orthodox mission in Russian America was authorized by Catherine II in 1793, and then was established on Kodiak Island in 1784 by a group of monks from the Valam Monastery in St. Petersburg. The Russian fur traders radically expanded sea otter hunting operations and forced the Aleutik men to hunt for longer periods of time at increasingly distant areas as the local population of fur bearing animals animals was extinguished. 
The Alutiques suffered starvation and physical separation of families because of the able bodied men hunting and trapping furs rather than providing food for the women, young, old, and sick as they had done traditionally. In 1837 1839, a smallpox epidemic swept through all the Russian America territory and destroyed an estimated one third of the native population. The remaining Alutik on Kodiak Island were then consolidated into seven settlements where they were more readily offered medical, educational, and religious services by the Russian American Company. The Russian American Company did all that was possible to protect the natives from the illness, so they could continue hunting furs, and the smallpox epidemic was eventually stopped with vaccination of the natives. Following the 1867 Alaska Purchase by the United States, the island became part of the United States. Gradually Americans settled there, also engaging in hunting and fishing. Topic: 1912 Novarupta eruption. Novarupta is a volcano 100 miles (160 kilometers) northwest of Kodiak Island that erupted from June 6 to June 8, 1912, the largest eruption in the 20th century. Life on Kodiak Island was immobilized during the 60-hour eruption. Darkness and suffocating conditions caused by the falling ash and sulfur dioxide gas rendered villagers helpless. Among Kodiak's 500 inhabitants, sore eyes and respiratory problems were widespread. Water became undrinkable. Radio communications were disrupted and visibility was nil. Roofs in the village collapsed under the weight of more than a foot of ash. Buildings were destroyed as avalanches of ash rushed down from nearby hillsides. On June 9, Kodiak villagers saw the first clear, ash free skies in three days, but their environment had changed dramatically. Wildlife on Kodiak Island was devastated by ash and acid rain from the eruption. Bears and other large animals were blinded by thick ash, and many starved to death because large numbers of plants and small animals were smothered in the eruption. Birds blinded and coated by volcanic ash fell to the ground. Even the region's prolific mosquitoes were exterminated. Aquatic organisms in the region perished in the ash-clogged waters. Salmon in all stages of life were destroyed by the eruption and its aftereffects. From 1915 to 1919, southwestern Alaska's salmon fishing industry was devastated. Topic. 1964 earthquake The island was also hit by the 1964 Good Friday earthquake and tsunami, which destroyed much of the waterfront, business district, and several villages. 1964. Climate The weather of Kodiak is temperate by Alaskan standards. December to March is the cold season while June to August is the summer season. Topic: <inaudible> Education. <inaudible> University of Alaska Anchorage has a 50-acre 20 hectare campus which opened in 1968, located about 2 miles 3 2 kilometers northwest of the city of Kodiak. <inaudible> 